Chuck Close Subway Mosaics, Part 4, by Carol Bowen. The Chuck Close Mosaics are in the 86th Street subway line on 2nd Avenue. Every time I've been here, I completely miss seeing some of the mosaics because they're located on the 83rd Street entrance. So if you're visiting, make sure you check out both entrances. Since I've never been to this entrance, this is my first time seeing these mosaics, so you're going to experience them with me. The subway is not beautiful, but it's a place where you can discover so much beauty. Musicians play in the stations, and there's art in every station. I'm usually rushing by, but when you stop, you can have those aha moments of grace and beauty. I just did not expect to come upon a mosaic so suddenly. It's such a beautiful way to enter. In order to see the whole thing, we need to back up around all the guardrails. And now we can look at the whole piece. This is so beautiful. This is a portrait of the artist Cindy Sherman, made with hand-glazed ceramic tiles by Mosaica. Mosaica is a mosaic fabrication company in Montreal. Passers-by are a little annoyed at me for standing still in front of the escalator. Notice how some of the tiles protrude more than others. It reminds me of Renaissance painting in the way that the white and light colors were always painted last, so they always stuck out further on the canvas than the dark colors. Each tile is hand painted with glaze. Because the mosaic is so big, it completely fills your field of vision when you're in front of it. So it becomes sculptural in that sense. You're almost in the piece absorbed by it. It's it's everywhere. You, you're not going to get that sense of a physical relationship with the piece if you're just seeing it in a photo or if you see it from a distance. So it's so great we can get so close to it. Next up is a piece called Phil, a portrait of Philip Glass. This piece is hand glazed clay tiles by Magnolia Editions. This is a beautiful portrait, but I am disappointed that I can't get closer to it. That gestural hair makes me think of that youthful Rembrandt self-portrait where he has the wild hair. The only reason I can see any details in this portrait is because I have the zoom feature on the camera. The way the tones are painted in fine lines reminds me of early Renaissance egg temper portraits. But I kind of feel like I'm cheating because without the camera I couldn't see this. So now we're going to go deep deep down to the last mosaic I'm going to show you. When they built this subway, it was under existing apartment buildings, so they had to dig very deep under the city to make it happen. The next portrait depicts artist Posey B. Color. This is such a nice way to come upon this portrait. It's like being greeted by a friend. It's located in the mezzanine, where you buy your tickets and go through the turnstiles. It is so beautiful. This portrait has a kind of intimacy to it in a way the others don't. It's positioned low on the wall, so it's not looming over you. His eyes are at your eye level. And that gaze reminds me so much of Vermeer's Girl with a, pa Girl with a Pearl Earring painting. It is so painterly. And that eye level helps create the sense of intimacy because in real life, you'd have to be very close to someone to see their eyes close up like this with your own eyes. 
I thought this was stained glass at first because of the streakiness, but it turns out it's glazed ceramic tile. Here is a zoom in on the facial hair. How does that randomness end up looking like hair from a distance? It's amazing. And here is a sense of the scale of the piece compared to my hand. Unlike in a museum, you get to touch the art. And when you're here, you want to touch it. You just want to run your hands over it. I'm amazed by the softness of this hair and the way it transitions into the background. This piece was fabricated in Montreal by Mosaica Art and Design. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Chuck Close mosaics with me. I'll be visiting more stations in the future, so join me again.